What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to the Asia My Show. Sorry uh, for people watching this on the replay. Uh, we decided to uh, go live uh, uh, randomly. Uh, you know, Truck Miser just got here. Don Marie and Robert just got to the, the auction. So they just want to kind of show you guys what's going on. And uh, as people watch this on the replay, of course, uh, just know that because of COVID and all the things going on right now, they're still uh, doing an online auction. So, you know, Truck Miser drove uh, all the way here from their house just to show you guys what's going on. We're going to take a little drive through. No auction here tomorrow. Oh, you're going to. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. It sucks when uh, you think it's going to be a live auction, and then uh, they tell you it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is different. It's a different world today. I mean, uh, it used to be a, you know, a lot of excitement sitting there hearing that somebody is not in your ear, you know? But, um, I don't know. I guess we can get used to this social distancing and internet bidding. Actually, be able to at least we get to sit there and see the truck for real time, not be uh, uh, underneath the gun to have to buy right away. But uh, this is still work. This is still going to work. You know, let me know um, what kind of uh, what kind of trucks. Do they got going on over there? I'm trying to uh, switch the screens over so that they can uh, kind of see you better. But um, what it kind really, of trucks are over there? I mean, it's really quite the norm, truthfully. I mean, I was hoping to see some more more excitement, but we got one or two, 2,000 feet. We've got uh, one 780 that I uh, think it might might be a good truck. Uh, we, we hooked up the PCM report to it. It does have high miles, 696, 2015. I, I think it's going to be a, a good piece. Uh, we're coming up on it right now. It's, this one right here is just a pretty truck. We cranked it up. It's got one cosmetic flaw. And otherwise, just a really well uh, cared for rig. Obviously, you want to get out and show it to them? No, we'll go for a drive. We got we got pictures and other video that we can post online for later. Oh yeah, I just we just wanted to show them the, the lines and the equipment. It's always fun to drive right down the middle of a hundred truck. Right. <laughs> so Always usually, good. um, you know when you know Taylor Martin for people that don't know is a uh, a, a public auction, right? So for truck drivers that are going to be watching this video, is there any advice that you can give them as far as, you know, what to kind of look for when, uh, you know, looking for a truck, you know, to buy for their first one or what have you? Oh my, where do you start? But I mean, <laughs> major, I mean, major if you're buying these newer ones is, is, uh, is these check engine lights and, and be, uh, crippling to say the least I mean otherwise everything else is you know right in front of you an easy repair but when it comes down to the motor and the mission the emissions is just uh, it's just something you really need to know and and understand there they do do a, a pretty good uh, report Dr. Martin does a report however in the end you know it is as is where it I own it Look at these long stars right here. It's 2015, like uh, I think four to five miles. Beautiful truck, you know. They're, oh yeah. They're a pro star on the inside. They they they're just a, a standard pro star all the way throughout the inside. The only difference really is that is that hood is what I gather. I mean, I'm sure somebody else might school me on knowledge more more knowledge on international, but. The uh, it is a good looking truck for sure. Well, so I'm a young cat, Robert, so to me, it looks like uh, Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
<laughs> you know? We got some W9s that were going to be up here. Some later model W9. Um, yeah, they. I I know subscribers always like the W9s. Sure. Yeah, beautiful trucks. That was Cummins right there. And uh, here, I guess, was Coronados. These are live as well right here, which uh, we have a... Uh, some interest to do. I can't wait to see the numbers on that. Yeah. Yeah, Look at those right there. I like that purple. You like that purple? That purple like purple? Who I like better? Man, that, that blue is that's gorgeous. Oh. I like Man. the orange. orange. That is, that is good. So, like these W900s, you know, trucks yeah. like that, I mean, do they usually go fast or or do people bid on them the most? I would imagine, right? Or Yeah, these will be, these, that's, if you see it, it's going to be lot number one and two, three and four, those will go off the chart. I, I mean, who knows, though? I mean, every time you ever see, you think it, it, it's going to rain, they call for rain, you think the nuts. Not going to do it worth a damn, and then and then uh, and uh, and it goes through the roof. And then, so it, it's really the one thing that's really cool about this auction is there is no reserve. I mean, it is what it is, whatever that number goes for, you can bank on it, it sold for just that. Really? So, yeah, these Mac Day Cats are cool right here, 2015. I checked those out, 400,000. There's one with a knock sensor issue, this bar one right here. It had, but otherwise, relatively good shape, 400,000-mile rig. Uh, I don't do well with Mac sleepers. I, you know, uh, I think they're a great truck, but they don't seem like they, they sell as bad. Um, I guess we're coming up here. Do we already cut a roll for here? Oh, there's that lone star is being stripped. How about that? Yeah. That's a that's a that's a that's a picture. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they Frankensteined it. That was a crazy that was a crazy looking truck right there. <laughs> we got some old school three seventy nines coming up. Right here. Yeah, yeah. I know why people are interested in those. And yeah. these auctions usually for for people just so that you know you guys know, I mean, is this something that happens every week or when do these public auctions happen usually? Well they're they're uh week. They'll, they'll publicize they'll publicize the auction, you can go to their their website and they'll, they'll show I mean, but they're all in all parts of the country. They go everywhere. And then usually that like we're at the Taylor, uh, we're at the Fort Worth Speedway here, and that's uh, um, a lot. A lot of times they'll focus and put it on a racetrack. Man, that's so cool. You know. Oh, there, there's that Mac. Look, turn that Mac right there. Where's your, where's your audience think about that? Yeah, what's everybody think about this one? We like this one. Oh, that's that, that's that a the hauling truck. That looks nice. What what's that what's that max spec for? That, that to me is is a weekend warrior uh, setup. You know, I mean, you, you you work all week. You got your you um you loaded up a, your your product and you're ready to go to deliver over the weekend. And I don't know, it's it's got all kinds of uh, possibilities, but a lot of times, man, you got to sit up for three or four hours waiting to get unloaded. There's nothing like having a little, little sleeper bunk in the back just to catch a quick nap, right? Oh yeah. But uh, and you know it's light, it's still light, and uh, I don't know, man. That that Mac to me is just just a uh, well made truck. Man, how many trucks are at this auction? Jesus. 180. Yeah, 180 plus. Uh huh. Mm 
Really Good thing you're driving around. It'd take forever to walk that bad boy. We did. We, we walked a long time. Good for you. That's how he keeps his boyish figure. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to run over to the trailer real quick, I guess. I don't know if anybody has a certain truck they have questions on. Well, that's the thing is uh, um, I'm sure when people watch this on the replay, they're going to have a, a whole bunch of questions that they'll be asking. Right. So that'll be good. Because, yeah, a lot of people were thinking that we were going to jump on yesterday by, or tomorrow. But I said, you know what? Uh, might as well just kind of give people a looky-loo and, you know, see what there is going on at the auction. Sure. I got a load of reapers, mostly uh, carrier. But there are some Thermo King series. Um, they look like pretty decent trailers. I didn't know uh, any of your clientele goes for reapers. I think he cut out real quick. Give me a second, guys. We'll jump back on. The, the Wi-Fi might be horrible over there. We'll bounce them back on. Let's see. I got you back, I think. Oh, they went somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, appreciate you guys for jumping on, and if you guys are seeing this on the replay, it's all good. But yeah, we're going to be at the auction for a couple of days, just kind of showing you guys some trucks. If there's anything you're interested in, let us know, you know. I got your back. I got your back. Yay! We're, we're playing around in the trailer section now. No, I heard that. These are all storage box trailers. Look like old U.S. mail type stuff. Roll doors. Kind of boring, but good storage trailers. I mean, who knows what those go for? What are those? These are these be green haulers. Later models. I don't have any clue what those trailers are. Um, we've got the RGN little tandem axle. Your quad, quad, eager beaver. <laughs> a hydro tail, maybe. I think. I yeah, I think it's bad reception over there. But yeah, no, definitely. If you guys have any questions about any of the auctions and stuff like that, my partner and I, we we jump on and we try to uh, go to the auctions sometimes. Try and hit stuff online. Try to find a good deal for y'all. Got now. you back. Yay. Oh yeah. yeah, I think my uh, my phone's giving me connectivity issues. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. I already explained it to everybody. <laughs> well, that's pretty much. Yeah, look at that KW. Oh man, that's sweet, huh? That's nice. I'm trying to look closer, like on the screen. Look at that. <laughs> Is that K100? I think that's what it was. The K100. Then it's a stand-up sleeper. <laughs> this is it. So, I mean, a lot of these auctions usually are 250 plus, 220 on the truck. And then the trailers are wall to wall, but that's not so we got a So we got a question here from uh, uh, David. He says, how much are the reefer trailers usually going for? Well, it, it's a good question. I, I have no idea. I mean, 2010 models and starting somewhere 12 or 14, maybe, probably. But I really have not uh, been up and up on my reaper numbers here in the past month or two. I know that everything's climbing, so we'll go tomorrow. We're going to go tomorrow for sure. Watch the knees. I know. Well, it's one of those things where sometimes I'm wondering if, uh, what are your thoughts about this, Robert? Usually, um, is there any chance that people might 
go to an auction and actually pay more than they would at a dealership? Does that ever happen? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's sometimes these, these dealers will pay more for a truck out here than what, than what I would ever even sell it for. But they have a, they have a, uh, a certain uh, customer data and they need that particular truck. I just the, uh, hi. It's cute. Okay. Thank you. They're closing up on us, kicking us out. Not hearing that. Yeah, I mean, there, there. Depending on a lot of it has to do. If you know a certain company, I can say Walmart for years had a just had a wonderful maintenance program on their equipment, and these these Walmart trucks were auctioned through Taylor Martin primarily. Were just bringing rain. I I mean, really awesome numbers. You know and. So certain times, I mean, uh, customers would just always want that, and a dealer would be willing to pay so that he he knows he's got that particular type of group of trucks sold to his customer. I heard that. So, yeah, I mean, there's quite a few times that uh, uh, at the auction, you'll you'll spend more than what you will at the dealership, but. Uh, are you going to be there? Uh, are you going to uh, go around there tomorrow while? Uh, uh, you might be doing some bidding, or uh, you're just gonna stay in the sprinter. No, we'll definitely do some. We'll we'll definitely be online for the bidding and see if we can't get uh, a couple. Of, I I I didn't really have interest in a whole a whole lot of the, of the units that they have here, but we got like four or five that we're thinking that we might might be able to take a stab at. No, I hear you. And you know, so it's just one of those things where. You know, all I have to say is, guys, you know, if you guys are watching this tomorrow, we'll do uh, maybe another live and kind of show uh, people around some of these trucks. You know, uh, we did pass by some of them uh, today just so that you guys can see. Um, you know, I know you guys might be into the Peterbilt 379s, W900s. We kind of passed that a little bit, but it's one of those things where, um, you know, maybe we could do another, you know, a looky loo inside some of these to give people a chance to see inside. What do you think, Robert? I think they need to buy my 2005 379 on my yard. Beautiful oh, yeah. Stuff. Well, we got to show that one when you get there. You know, yeah. David Miller uh, says, you know, you answered his question on that reefer. So, you know, I got to send you that, but he sent you two bucks. I got to send you the, the $2. Yep. All right. So he, you know, thank you so much, uh, you know, uh, David, you know, um, you know, Robert and Marie, they're traveling far just to show you guys, you know, information. And today is just kind of a, a, a quick run through. So if you didn't get a chance to see some of the trucks uh, tomorrow, we could do a little more in depth. Uh, today, we're kind of getting the butt of it, right? Yeah, definitely. At the end of the day, but we're there. We want to get a little bit of video show for you. No, I got that. And then uh, Charles Jones asked uh, uh, Robert, um, does this auction have a website? TaylorMartin.com, if I'm not mistaken. TaylorMartin.com, there it is. Or just let's look up Taylor Martin auction. And now you do not, you know, you don't have to be a dealer. You could just be uh, uh, anyone under the sun to to do some bids on this, right? You do have to. You do have to show uh, a bank uh, reference. You got to show some some sort of financial responsibility. No, I hear you. So it's just not anyone under the sun can go there. My <laughs> broke butt kid just can't go there and start trying to buy a truck right <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, anyone with a bank in their, in their back pocket, they're, they're welcome. They'll take your money. Well, it's one of those things where I was hoping for the subscribers one day, what we could do is, uh, uh you know, we could buy the trucks they like uh, and then make sure that if they put down maybe a deposit or something. We could even get them financing, you know, so we could be Absolutely. like we could be your private dealership, guys. You know, what I mean, where you get to get what you want. And uh, we're just trying to make an honest living over here. We're not trying to kill anybody. Just have a little fun. Just want a little bit of your time. But you yeah. told what you do, though, that you 
you know, we go out there and we inspect the trucks. We find certain ones that, that we're going to, the ones that we're going to bid on, we'll go through them. We'll hook up the ECM reader, um, look over the truck for cosmetic issues and, and mechanical issues. We take pictures, you know, inside and out and um, get them ready, you know, so we know what we're, if you, we go in advance, you know, to try to make sure that uh, what we buy is what we want. Yeah. I mean, and with the with the ECM readings, we can really narrow down a lot of the uh, problematic situations to come. Obviously, you're never going to get rid of it all, but I mean, it is really it's really nice to be able to plug up and sit and and look and see what those motors are doing, you know, prior right. to a time. Right, and if you guys don't know, yeah, uh, Robert uh, brings a, a J Pro, so he could actually start, you know, uh, checking these trucks just to see what kind of condition they are you know, and get a better ballpark idea of how they're actually running. And if you guys are jumping on now, thank you for jumping on. Uh, basically, uh, Robert and Don Marie uh, got to the auction a little bit late. So we're doing a little roundabout. We showed some 379s, uh, some W900s, some old school KWs, and some Mack trucks. And so if you guys didn't get a chance to see that, we'll have that on the replay. But what we're just trying to do is, uh, you know, Robert and I are just wanting to show you guys kind of like where you guys can go to get trucks, uh, where you can go to get a looky-loo and kind of see what people do, you know what I mean, to get the best deal possible. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's what we want for you. And, you know, if we can help you with anything, that'd be great. But for the most part, I think, you know, Robert and Don Marie over here are just having fun showing you guys around. Absolutely. It's been a blast. <laughs> you know, what time, uh, you know, what time tomorrow should we jump on and uh, go live so we could really start walking around and kind of checking out some of these trucks and, you know, what are your thoughts, Robert? Well, so the auction starts at nine. I mean, we can probably be there, um, seven thirty eight ish and, and just kind of do a drive by and see, and see, uh, Anything that makes uh, makes your audience they got any questions, then we can stop and check out that particular truck. Yeah, yeah. It's online, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. We got we got quite a few that we looked at, but, but definitely you can look online on the Taylor Martin and check out the uh, inventory. Uh, we got a mileage. A lot. I don't know if they advertise the mileage online or not, but um, ordinarily it's two different papers there you got a pamphlet of the inventory and then there's a separate paper to get that uh, shows a mile but it, it might be online that shows a mile as well so what we could uh, what i'll tell them to do is go i'll text it right now in the chat go to uh uh taylor martin yeah um taylor martin probably dot com and look up the fort worth location correct Yes. And then, so go to the Fort Worth location, check that out online. And then if there's any trucks that you see that might work for you, uh, you know, we could take a look at for you. Now, King Russell, uh, I'll wait until Robert jumps back on for a second, and then we could answer that question for you. Uh, if it's a great place for a starter truck, uh, give me a second on that. Hey, Robert, a uh, quick question. King Russell asks uh, this question. Uh, would this be a perfect place for a starter truck? What are your thoughts, brother? Mm. Be honest about it. Uh oh, that well, one. It's, it's a crapshoot. You know, you, you want to go to your first truck and you're going to go jump at an auction and just go bid on something and expect it to, uh, you know, be all roses at no i don't think so man i mean um first truck i don't recommend being in the auction no i hear you i hear you because as a dealer what ends up happening is you know uh you would buy the truck and if there's anything wrong with it things like that you know you know usually it would you know you would have to fix it get it up and you know dot ready right for the most part and yeah yeah, for the most part, I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to leave a customer hanging to. Uh, to, have, if they have a problem off the bat, 
then no, we're going to address the situation. I mean, like anything else, these, these trucks are unpredictable. They they right. will have issues. It's not about maybe. I mean, they will. They're gonna. They're not. They're gonna. Um, always take your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's what I'll say. You know, as a truck driver myself, Robert, I would. You know, I want to tell everybody that watches the show now and on replay. If you're watching, definitely know. Uh, it's not if it'll break down. It's when it'll break down. Especially if you're buying a used truck, and that's the truth. Regardless, you know. Anyone that tells you different is lying to you. You know, that's what, that's how I feel about it. Right. And I, so, you know, it's, it's always owning a truck is a business, you know, uh, half of the business is making sure you have enough money fixing it. <laughs> yeah. You definitely need to be just prepared for uh, certain events. And when it comes to, um, when it comes to auctioned off equipment, I mean, hey, look, they've got a lot of great trucks throughout there that that will serve you well. And in the end, though, you just never, you just never know. There's always going to be a surprise, and we'll try to minimize those surprises by hooking up and doing doing visuals, making sure that we can see whatever um, possibilities of problems that might arise, but. Like anything else, man, uh, there's always a surprise right right around the corner for you. And you need to be uh, financially prepared for it. No, I hear you. Now, what are your thoughts about, um, and this is my personal question just asking you, Robert, right? What are your thoughts about uh, getting a warranty? Because a lot of people ask about that. They'll say, you know, should I get a warranty uh, when buying a truck, you know, for five to $7,000 warranty? Or should I just keep that money in my pocket? And... Um, save it for a rainy day you know usually you know for someone that's first buying a truck would you recommend them keeping that five to seven grand or get that warranty that engine warranty D depending on your 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 knowledge your mechanical aptitude your uh ideal i mean what your if a lot of guys are out there deleting these trucks they're deleting the emissions and then they're 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 going to run down the road with that. If you have that in mind, why in the world get a warranty? You know, no, you know, you're, you're going to delete. And most likely that truck will run great after that. You know, however you do have the law and, and uh, inspections every year to have to deal with and who knows what ramifications come from that. But if you are new and you want to, you know, be a law abiding and you want to go travel through California and, um, I highly suggest having one of the after after treat or after market warranties that has specifically the after treatment um, emissions in inside there, and then and then be and then be aware that there is a limitation. It is not an open check. It is not a blank check. It is got a cap. So. You can go through that money. Five thousand dollars usually gets you probably fifteen to sixteen thousand dollars worth of warranty repair. If you're if you're not knowledgeable to what's going on whenever the if the when the motor has an issue and you just go straight over there to the Freightliner or Kenworth dealership, they're gonna they're they're gonna um, they're gonna want to put everything they can possibly put to that truck. Their goal is to charge you as much as they can. And you need to be, you need to be knowledgeable as to what's going on. And a lot of times that warranty program will help you with that there because their interest is not to spend money either. Right. 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 So, so they're, they're very knowledgeable as to what's going on because they, they may have to spend the money every day on the same repair. Right it's almost like way. having a counselor in your pocket, man, over, you know, mechanic, mechanic repairs. I, I suggest it. No, I hear you. And people don't know, uh, you know, it's, I've had a $25,000 breakdown. You know, I've, I've had those that have happened to me. And so luckily I was in a situation where, you know, I was able to figure that out. But, you know, for a lot of these new truck drivers, especially if you're a new owner operator, man, that will take you out quick. You will be out of business before you know it. You know, for a lot of people, right? Starting out small. And sure. So, 
No, definitely. No, I appreciate that. And I, di I, I didn't realize that there was a cap, actually. I know we were kind of talking about that the other day, but I didn't really, it didn't really sink in <laughs> that there's a cap on the warranty. <laughs> yeah, there's all. Yeah, you need to you need to know those caps, but I mean, yeah, they have they don't they don't put that in a big print. It's down in the bottom, in the little spot. But no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, I guess we'll wrap this up for today. Um, just for people that are jumping in now, you know, watching this on the repost, just know that tomorrow we will be at the auction. Today we are jumping in at the butt end of it, just driving through, showing you guys. There's uh, 180 trucks uh, and, and trailers, and they have all trucks under the sun. Uh, you know, this isn't sponsored by Taylor Martin in no way, shape, or form. But I will say that uh, if you go to taylormartin.com, and we're at the Fort Worth uh, Dallas uh, location, right? You could check yeah. out the inventory, and then Robert can actually go in and really check out the truck for you. So, you know, that's just something we're doing just to try to help you guys. And just to, you know, enlighten people more because I'm learning too. Because, you know, before I met Robert and, uh, you know, I, I didn't know the the ropes on this. And so, you know, I appreciate you that for, uh, for that too, brother. Absolutely. No, oh, great. At the end of this, anything, anything you want to uh, leave people with before we stop this live? And we'll jump back on tomorrow, probably around eight o'clock, you know, in the morning. You know, was that seven o'clock my turn uh, time? I think so. Yeah, it'll be seven o'clock your time. Um, yeah, that's, that, sounds, that sounds good. Yeah, it'll be eight o'clock here. That'll be a perfect time. Cool. Was, and we can uh, walk around. And if you guys have suggestions and, you know, you're really interested in a truck, you know, let us know. And tomorrow at eight o'clock uh, central time, we could uh, hook up a J-Pro. Uh, Robert has bought a J-Pro. <laughs> How much is a J-Pro, brother? Uh, I think I got almost six grand in mine. So $6,000 for a J-Pro so we can check some of these trucks for y'all. And then uh, on the way, uh, give you guys some insight and hopefully help you out with whatever you need. So, no, I appreciate you, Robert. Absolutely. It was wonderful meeting you guys. Um, God bless. Please stay healthy. No, I appreciate you.